So on top of that, just so you know, uh, there was a little IPO today. And uh, I was actually on uh, Alex Maschioli's show uh, as this thing was kind of coming about. And we all just talked about our different uh, opinions of where this would go. And I was going to go over all this, but I'm just going to give you the, the highlights real quick. So when it first came out, it was it was expected to be around 20, 30 billion. Then there was a valuation of 50 billion. Then it was 50 to 100 billion. And then when it opened up, this is what it looked like. Let's use, let me just refresh this. This is the Robin Hood uh, website, eh, whatever. And uh, when it opened up, it was supposed to open up 250. And then they reevaluated it, it was 340. Then it opened up at 380, somewhere around there, somewhere around there. And it went like this, big, huge, massive bump. And at 424, I was like, this thing might hit 500 or 600, who knows? And then of course, <laughs> just like the Coinbase effect, uh, it went up and what happened? Do, 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 Welcome to the regular traditional market. And down it goes. I think we're we're hovering around 330, so not too bad. So a high of 424, hopefully you didn't buy up there. And then uh, just a big uh, dip and that went whatnot. And that's what it is. So when we were over here on Alex's show, and we're talking about these things, what was interesting to me is that uh, there was no pre-sale. There was no, because uh, it was a direct listing. You couldn't have a bunch of, uh, you know, super accredited investors really get their hands on it and then just dump on everything. Uh, only the uh, Coinbase uh, employees could have up to like 1% or something like that of the stock. So there was nothing really dirty that could be done. And I think this one had to be squeaky clean because the SEC is like, look, we don't even like, you know, beforehand, we don't even like crypto digital assets. And this went off pretty well. So we were thinking that, uh, you know, this could, and actually played out just like Alex and uh, Danish, uh, Danish uh, and CJ and Nick said, they said, you know what? It'll probably just do this. It'll be flat go up and then we'll just tumble right back down and then we'll equalize. And I was like, yeah, maybe. And of course, that's exactly how it was. And they gave uh, different reasonings behind that, especially like a, a Facebook IPO and what would happen. But um, who knows? Another big thing we talked about was how uh, this could lead to different traditional players to get exposure into cryptocurrency and digital assets without actually owning crypto and digital assets just by investing into Coinbase. But what's very interesting was at the same time as this was about to happen, you saw a big drop in Bitcoin. You saw a big drop in the entire market. You saw a big drop in Voyager, uh, the um, uh, publicly traded uh, fund, the actual uh, stock. You saw a big drop in um, a lot of different. Um, assets that you would think, why is all this dropping right now? What uh, you know, what is happening? Like like Mara and Riot, those stocks actually dropped, and um, yeah. So what was what was going on? Well, I was like, why is this happening? And then she's like, well, listen, genius, it's because everybody's trying to uh, you know cash out and get a little bit of money so they can dump it into this uh, Coinbase and just just make a quick buck. And I was like, huh, that makes a lot of sense. And then here we are. So. Uh, even Michael Saylor's company actually went down at the same time. So, yeah, it was a good it was a good try. But uh, I mean, again, if you were going to do that and make a bunch of money, I don't think you made a ton going from 380 to 420. I mean, not bad for a day, you know. But then you just did this, and everybody just dumped and blah 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 blah. Off you go. So um, yeah, we'll see how this all works out. And as time goes on, I don't think it's going to be uh, that big of a deal. But I could be wrong. So let me just say in the comment section. Um, but lastly, I will just say this. This is a pretty great year. I mean, look at all the institutions that are here. Look at all the different track that has been laid. Look at all the different uh, projects that actually have a working product and actually does something. Coinbase gets, list gets listed. That is the second publicly traded company as far as an exchange right behind Voyager, even though Voyager is a brokerage. So uh, that is pretty interesting and uh, hopefully 2021 is going to be a monstrous year. Let me just think in the comment section. Let's move on to our last piece.